On November 24, 2024, Ukraine's Deputy Minister of Defense for European Integration, Sergei Boyev, met with Niels Hilmer, State Secretary of the German Ministry of Defense, during the 16th International Security Forum in Halifax, Canada. The discussions revolved around plans for 2025, particularly enhancing Ukraine's air defense systems and armored vehicle capabilities. Boyev expressed gratitude for Germany's significant contributions, including the delivery of Patriot and Iris-T air defense systems. These systems have been instrumental in countering missile attacks on Ukraine's infrastructure. Further discussions explored the potential for additional supplies of heavy armored vehicles and deeper collaboration between Ukrainian and German defense firms, especially in air defense technology and vehicle production. Germany's support also includes rain metals ongoing delivery of KF-41 Lynx Infantry Fighting Vehicles, IFVs. First announced in August 2024, the initial vehicles are set to arrive in Ukraine by year's end. The Lynx, designed with modular versatility, can fulfill various roles, including infantry fighting, air defense, and medical support. Rainmetal's commitment extends beyond delivery. The company has established four production facilities in Ukraine. One plant, already operational, produces Lynx vehicles and provides maintenance services. The other three, nearing completion, will focus on gunpowder production, NATO standard 155mm artillery shells, and advanced air defense systems. These facilities aim to bolster Ukraine's domestic production capabilities, reduce reliance on external supply chains, and modernize its defense industry. Training initiatives are also in place, with Ukrainian personnel undergoing extensive training in Germany. Rainmetal has highlighted the efficiency of localized repair workshops, which maintain systems like the Lynx and Iris-T platforms, ensuring rapid turnaround for battlefield equipment. Ukraine's defense partnerships extend beyond Germany. The Franco-German defense group KNDS has initiated local operations for the maintenance and production of Leopard tanks, Caesar self-propelled howitzers, and related artillery systems. By 2025, KNDS plans to manufacture 155mm artillery shells and spare parts within Ukraine. South Africa's Paramount Group has also engaged in collaborative efforts with Ukraine, focusing on the Bomb-6 Infantry Combat Vehicle. While full-scale production agreements are under discussion, the vehicle is already in service with Ukrainian forces. Other initiatives include agreements with the Czech Republic for the local production of CZ Bren II rifles and ammunition under the Sitch brand. Ukraine has also developed indigenous versions of American vehicles, such as the Humvee Sikak, M113 APC, Karaktonik, and Max Pro MRAP LIS, further reducing reliance on foreign suppliers. A key focus of international collaboration has been ensuring a steady supply of ammunition. Rainmetal's plans for NATO standard munitions production align with similar efforts by other European nations, such as France and Sweden, which are expanding their artillery manufacturing capacities. Sweden, the Netherlands, and Denmark have committed to providing Ukraine with CV-90 infantry fighting vehicles. Sweden oversees production, while Denmark has allocated $264 million to support the initiative. Plans for local CV-90 production and maintenance in Ukraine are also underway. These collaborative efforts aim to modernize Ukraine's military capabilities and enhance its defense industry's self-reliance. By focusing on localized production, training, and transitioning to NATO standards, Ukraine is steadily building a robust, independent defense infrastructure to address ongoing challenges. As partnerships with Germany and other nations deepen, Ukraine is positioning itself to not only withstand current threats, but also to secure long-term stability and strength in its defense sector. Thank you.